Now is the time! Season 3 begins. Let's not stop the excitement, let's get into it. First we'll look at new players that we brought in. There's just the one that came in on a free transfer. Where is he? There he is, Charlie Raglan. Center back, free transfer. Let's have a quick look at his stats. Fairly decent in the physical. He's a decent tackler. All right in the air. Um, that's about it. Not too good on the ball. Oh, he's okay. Um, let's look at the stats here. Um, fairly tall, which helps him in the air. And he's also good as right back, which is a position that we're looking to strengthen this season. So he could be more important than I initially thought. All right. So let's go into the the season's goals because that's the fun bit. Youth development, that's the first one we'll look at. Let's read through these. Sign at least three players younger than 20 years old, although I'll stop there to explain this. Another career mode has told me that 20 years old is actually okay. It doesn't have to be younger than 20, so it's not like 19 is good, but 20 is not. 20 is okay too for those of you who get this requirement as well. And the next part, with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. That's a mouthful. Um, let's break it down. So, potential is not something that you can see for players you purchase. You can only see them for players that you've scouted through your youth scouts or that are currently in your youth academy. So you can't see this. You've just kind of got to guess. Um, so their potential stats need to be greater than the current average of players in the same position. So if you sign a young right back, his potential, which you don't know, but it could be a lot higher than his current, needs to be higher than the average of the players that are also right backs. So, it's a little convoluted, but once you see what I'm saying, once you see some players that I bring in to fill this requirement, you'll understand. And then also grow one youth academy player by at least 10 overall points, and then play them in five matches, either as part of the starting 11 or coming on as a sub. Pretty easy. We did that last season without the requirement Aljur went up 12 or 13 and that was only in a few months not even over the whole season so easy peasy we've got a couple of new um, youth academy players that I'll show you in a little while that w that could easily fulfill this requirement brand exposure same as it was last season um, within three seasons so this is our second of those three increased season ticket holders with at least 10% of the stadium's capacity, so I don't know exactly what capacity is because it doesn't tell us in human numbers, just money. Um, but we want 10% of the total seats in the stadium taken by season ticket holders. I don't know where we're at yet for this season because we haven't got to the season ticket sales, but I expect it should be quite good. It should get us most of the way there, if not all the way. Uh, so we'll see what that one happens. Financial down here. Uh, same one as last time. Uh, finish the season with 2.55 million unspent allocated funds, and that just counts your transfer budget and your wage budget. Currently, we're sitting above that, but we have uh, the in there. I'm um, looking for some to play with in transfers. I really want to bring some players in to work on that youth development one, and uh, you know, get in some more talented players. I am very happy that there's no uh, wage cap business going on. That's good. Domestic success is pretty much the same as it was last season, except with the championship instead of League One. Our short-term goal for this year is to avoid relegation and also get round of 32 in the FA Cup, but if we get anywhere close to as well as we did last season, that should be no problem. Long-term is to finish mid-table in the championship within two seasons. And now uh, here's the interesting one that I forgot about. Continental. We need to reach the group stage of the Euro League, but how is that possible? We just got promoted from League One. Aha! But by winning the FA Cup, that qualifies us for Europe. Um, I took a quick look at the Euro League matches um, that are currently up there. We're not in them, so uh, we might automatically be in the group stage. I don't know. So there's going to be European football for Newport. Whoa! Hey! Anyways, that's uh, all we have to look at right now. Uh, let's skip over to this part right here. Let's look at our table. This is our uh, preseason friendly tournament. We have Oribro from uh, preseason friendly tournament. We have Oribro from 
Sweden, I think. Sturm Graz from Austria and Salerno from Italy. So that could be an interesting group. There's some not bad teams there. Over in the other group, we got Red Star. I don't know where they're from. I don't think they're from one of these. They might be from the extra rest of world teams. So I think Red Star. I know there's a Red Star Belgrade team, which would be Serbian. But I don't know if that's the same one. RC Lens is from France. Austria Vienne is Austrian, of course, and Auxerre is French again. So, a couple of French teams, a couple of German, or not German teams, um, Austrian teams, Red Star, no idea where they're from, a Swede, and an Italian team. Let's take a quick look at the scouts that I mentioned before. See some of our new players. This guy looks to be legend. He's the first one I want to beef up. Douglas McCall picked up from Scotland, but he needs a nickname. He's going to be Wee Doogie. Let's have a look at his stats. He's fairly decent in the physical. I hope he grows because he could be quite good. His speed's are decent. His strength's good. His stamina's all right. And he's of moderate height as well, so he could be a solid defensive mid. Uh, rather aggressive as well. In his stats, he's good in the air, decent on the ground. No real strength showing through yet, but he's got very high potential, 80 to 90, so that could be really good. Other one, Kelvin Egbe, again, probably going to end up in the 80s. He's not that good right now. He's a, he's a goalkeeper. He'll replace... Well, not replace, but I like having a third goalkeeping option. Either he or Beauchamp will go on loan. Probably n neither just yet, since he's still 15 and needs to train in the academy for a little while until he's eligible to be brought up. And then the last one, Logan Young. Not quite as high potential as the other two, but he's a right mid option, and he likes to get going. He's got some very good agility. He's a good dribbler, I think, is his, his uh, strength. Yeah, good ball control, good dribbling. Decent curve as well, so he's decent from a dead ball, it looks like. We need to work on his... Uh, and crossing and long passing to make him a perhaps a corner expert. He is a left footed right midfielder, which I I do like for taking corners. I tend to prefer to have the in swingers on the corners. It makes it a little more difficult for the keeper to get hands on it. So there's those guys. And I think that's about it. I have a couple of youth scouts still out there from last season but I'm not going to send any more out just yet um, until we see what our money situation is going to be like. Transfers will be happening. I've got some offers out there for some players I would like, um, but nothing for sure yet since you know we don't exactly know how much money we're going to have and well, it's only a few days into the, into the season, just four days in. But... Um, Follow on Twitter if you want to know when those transfers happen. I will, of course, um, post those there, as I tend to do, if you don't want to wait for the next video. And with that, I think we'll end that here. Like, subscribe, and comment. What kind of players are we looking for? Um, I know what I'm looking for, but if you've got any other thoughts on that, we definitely need to fill a right back. Another striker would be great, and a center back as well. We're also sort of looking at a left mid, but I think I've got a, a youth scout. Uh, screen that we could pull in and also we've got Lewis Young that I just showed you Lewis Young, Yo Logan Young, Lewis is one of the other guys um, Logan Young, he could play either side especially since he's left footed alright that's all don't forget to vote for the, the FIFA 18 career mode team, Newport County Wickham Wanderers, Port Vale and Forest Green Rovers are the choices and with that I bid you Adieu. Au revoir. Doc. Bye.